What kind of business should I start? Three simple steps reviewed with Chinese astrology Bazi. Hi everyone, this is Master Chai here. What if I tell you today that there is a simple method of analyzing which business is easier for you to succeed in? An accurate method that has been used for more than 2,000 years ago and is still applicable today. By knowing this, you will have the unbiased advantage of knowing which business you should be starting today that can be most financially beneficial and rewarding to you. Hi, I'm Master Chai. I'm the Master Trainee at Lee Consultant on Nightwolf Palace for the last 10 years, helping business owners and entrepreneurs worldwide prosper and succeed. I believe many of you will agree with me that the path of being a business owner and entrepreneur is often a painful journey that requires a tremendous amount of time, resources, effort, and commitment to make it succeed. There's a Chinese saying that goes, Women are most afraid of marrying the wrong husband, while men are most afraid of getting into the wrong business. This statement still stands true today because getting into a wrong business for both men and women can be one of the most devastating tragedy that will ever happen. Okay, so coming for the first step of finding out which business you should be starting today, it is to find out what are your strongest 10 god star in your puzzle natal chart that symbolizes your character strengths and weakness as a whole. For example, if you have output stars like Heart Officer or Eating God Star residing in your chart and they are strong in terms of their strength, you are likely to possess a strong flair in the areas of creativity, design, music, arts, communication or even intellectual areas. And you definitely want to get into the business that you can be good at or being an expert in that particular area. It may not be a skill set that you have acquired right now, but you can be good in that particular area in the future. For example, you may be musically inclined and talented in learning artistic modes, but due to financial reasons, you may not have attended a single music lesson in your life to know this. This is where the use of your puzzle needle charts comes in. Alright, I get on to the second step. It is basically to list down what are some of the skill sets that you are particularly good at. It could be a set of skills that you acquired during your previous work experience or having some specialized knowledge in certain areas. The purpose here is to find out what you are specifically good at and possibly apply the advantage into your business. For example, you may have been a bartender for the past 5 years concocting drinks for your customers, and so naturally you may have honed some fantastic customer service skill set, along with some expertise in wine and spirits, which you can give and bring forth in your upcoming business venture. As a matter of fact, you do not want to start a business that you do not have a specialization in that trade about because that will bring you to the beginner level in that particular trade and it will be very hard to compete with the other seasoned players in the same competitive field. And alright, coming to the third step, which is also the most important part of all, it is to find a business industry that utilizes your skill sets or knowledge, the part we completed in the step 2, that is compatible with your puzzle natal chart, which we already identified in the earlier step 1. So the main gist over here is to combine what you are already good at with what is inherently suitable for you according to your parts and natal chart. For example, if you have strong and favorable upper stars in your parts profile and you also possess expertise and knowledge in the area for like say interior designing work, then I would strongly recommend that you set up a business in this area. And I can say that your chances of succeeding is way higher than getting into other industry as you have successfully exploited the understanding of your puzzle profile and leveraging it into your new business. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have benefited from here. So if you like my video, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel below if you wish to see some other contents that will be coming up next. And also let me know in the comment section below what is the biggest takeaway from this video. Thank you guys.